morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Pershaw Abbey as we gather wherever we are on this Advent Sunday. We are reminded as we gather together to share in the Eucharist that wherever we are, we are united as God calls us together to worship him. As we offer this Eucharist, we are united in our prayers and our thanksgiving. We sing our first hymn, Lo, he comes with clouds descending.
God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. There are many different traditions that we keep in Advent. One of them is having an Advent wreath. We have this Advent wreath to remind us of the coming of Jesus, the light of the world. to remind us of God's people who in every age watch for his coming. of comfort our Saviour Christ says to all who truly turn to him. Come to me all who labour and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Hear what St Paul says. This saying is true and worthy of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate thought. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, 
came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, my Lord. Lord. But in those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the power in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds, with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels, and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The reflection for the first Sunday in Advent has been prepared for us by the Reverend Alma Organ. I was brought up in the Methodist Church, and what I have valued since joining the Anglican Church is the movement through the year with the change in seasons. We are now entering the season of Advent when altar cloths will be purple along with pulpit and lectern cloths and clergy robes. This season is a time of waiting and preparation. It is a time to reflect on our inward spiritual journey that we have travelled during the year. We need to take stock of how we have led our lives. Has it been according to the teachings of Jesus. It is also a time to ask for forgiveness for the things we have done wrong, wished we hadn't done, and the way we have treated members of our family, friends and neighbours. In 1 Corinthians, we are reminded that God is faithful even if we have not always been faithful to him. He wants us to be honest with him, and he will forgive us and help to restore our relationship with him and others, and so start our journey anew. Our Gospel reading reminds us that our world and our lives are unpredictable. In this time of Covid, we have experienced this reality. But the fact that God is faithful gives us hope that whatever happens, 
God will support us. We are called to remain faithful to God and pass on the message of hope to those around us, especially to those people who are feeling lonely, frightened, even angry with the world. Let us journey through this season of waiting and preparation, Advent, knowing that our faithful God is with us to support, encourage and give us hope and light, whatever life may bring. Amen. We now sing our next hymn, The People That In Darkness Sat. of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. In joyful expectation of his coming to our aid, we pray to Jesus. Come to your church as Lord and Judge. We pray for all those attending special services today online. We pray for Archbishop Justin and our bishops John and Martin. We thank you for our churches and all who make them a beacon of, of light in our community. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Maranatha. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your world as King of the nations. We pray for countries undergoing great change. We pray for leaders and nations tackling COVID-19. We pray for countries who will still be at war this Christmas. For Syria, South Sudan, the Middle East and Yemen. Before you rulers will stand in silence. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to the suffering as Saviour and Comforter. We pray for those who live in poverty and rely on food banks. We pray for those in hospital and undergoing treatment, especially those affected by the virus. We pray for those who are housebound and the lonely. We give thanks to all those who offer help and journey alongside. Break into our lives where we struggle with sickness and distress and set us free to serve you forever. Maranatha. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to us as shepherd and guardian of our souls. We remember with thankfulness all those who have shown a light for us on our journey of faith. Give us, with all the faithful departed, a share in your victory over evil and death. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come from heaven, Lord Jesus, with power and great glory. Lift us up to meet you that with Mary and all your saints and angels, we may live and reign with you in your new creation. Maranatha. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming, raise us to share in the joy of your kingdom on earth as in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And wherever we are, we share peace with those who we are closest to. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. 
for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. You are worthy of our thanks and praise, Lord God of truth. For by the breath of your mouth you have spoken your word, and all things have come into being. You fashioned us in your image and placed us in the garden of your delight. Though we chose the path of rebellion, you would not abandon your own. Again and again you drew us into your covenant of grace. You gave your people the law and taught us by your prophets to look for your reign of justice, mercy and peace. As we watch for the signs of your kingdom on earth, we echo the song of the angels in heaven, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are the most holy one, enthroned in splendour and light. Yet in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, you reveal the power of your love, made perfect in our human weakness. Amen. Amen. Lord, we believe. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation. Loving us to the end, he gave himself to death for us. Dying for his own, he set us free from the bonds of sin, that we might rise and reign with him in glory. Amen. Amen. Lord, we believe. On the night, he gave up himself for us all. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Lord, we believe. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Amen. Lord, we believe. Therefore we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high, and we long for his coming in glory. 
Amen. Come, Amen. Lord Jesus. As we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Look with favour on your people and in your mercy hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free, and fill your church with power from on high. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints at the table in your kingdom, where the new creation is brought to perfection. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The body and blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation, and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord our God, make us watchful and keep us faithful as we await the coming of your Son, our Lord, that when he shall appear, he may not find us sleeping in sin, but active in his service and joyful in his praise. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. We now sing our final hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. when he comes in glory. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.